Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you how I repurposed a fuel tank cover into a floor hatch for our boat. I'll walk you through the steps I took to make the conversion, how I painted and added non-skid to the cover. I'll also share some tips and tricks I learned along the way. So if you're looking for a budget friendly and simple solution for adding a hatch to your boat, or if you're just interested in boat restoration projects in general, then keep watching. up YouTube so I've been wondering what I'm gonna do with this second hatch the first one I finished I put non skid over the top that's gonna go over the fuel tank but the second compartment is gonna be for storage basically what I did was I took out the holes right the portholes that were here I patched them up because I wasn't sure if I was gonna use two big compartments or go with one big one or make this whole thing come up and down and that might have been a little complicated because I need hinges and all types of stuff. I patched these up, right? I still got to fill this one up. So uh, you can tell where I, I measured original hatches for here. They were plastic hatches and they're cheap. You could get them on online on Amazon for like 60, 70 bucks, but they're not recessed. And I would have to have gone through the trouble of making them recessed. And I didn't want to do that. And as you can tell, the, the hatch is really worn out. I was going to use two of them. So it's going to cover this anyway. I ended up going to Marine Connection liquidators up in Fort Pierce and I found a really cool hatch that I think might work uh, recess nice and smooth and just a little less of, uh, of a hassle it might not be as big as these two compartments would have been for storage I just think it's gonna give it a nicer look I'll show you now so here it is I found this really cool hatch I mean it's brand new in the box still has plastic over it I just took off the plastic that was covering the whole thing it comes with the hydraulic arm i mean it's really cool it's not as big as i like it to be but it's big enough where i could still get into this compartment i'm just putting stuff yeah the color is not white i wanted it to be white but hey i bought this for 120 bucks and it came with all the hardware everything really clean looks really really nice and either way the cooler is going to go on top so you're not really going to see it but at least the cooler can sit nice and flush use some stainless steel screws to put it in Got a pretty good deal on it so for now, I'm going to finish sanding down the whole compartment. I'm going to fill this up and level that out. And I'm going to cut out the size for the hatch and install it. So stay tuned. I'm going to be sanding the whole cover down with some 80 grit. And I'm going to use FGCI Super Polyfill uh, putty to fill in all these little holes. Use it as a filler. And I fill this up too. And I'll sand that down. I've marked where all the little holes are. So I'll fill all these little holes here, all of that, and these guys here. And I'm not too worried how it, it's not going to be perfect because I'm going to have non-skid over most of this. I'm trying to get it more or less level, it doesn't have to be perfect. I got my respirator, my sander, and I got these goggles at Harbor Freight today. I got a couple other cool things that I'll show you guys that uh, really help for the boat. These goggles, they're really good. They seem to make a good seal around the face. I'll let you know how, how they are. I think it, these were like six bucks or something like that. But um, when you're working with fiberglass, I mean, this stuff gets everywhere. And it gets in your eyes, it dries out your eyes, your eyelids itch, it's awful. I'm gonna try these out and see how they work. I measured this up to be perfectly centered and squared in the middle of the um, of the hatch cover. So I got the half here, got the half of the, of the cover, and then it's even 13 inches on both sides. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut out this piece first. We'll test it. And that way I'll continue to sand this stuff after. Here's with a three quarter inch of a lip all the way around. Acetone, wipe everything down with an old t-shirt. 
let it dry. I'm going to set up the gel coat for spring. Some master tore in my eye last time, and that's not fun. Luckily, my contact saved me. Oh, it's still burned, it's burned terribly, like, right? Like all hell. No. Thanks. I want to make sure you clean everything off good so nothing's. Anything. No gel coat sticks to it. No grease, fingerprint marks. That's dirt. All right, we're going to be spraying gel coat, exterior gel coat, unwaxed, so we can build up maybe two or three layers before we put the sand and then do the final wax gel coat over the top. So we have our gel coat, MDK, our masks, goggles. We have our gun with a 2.5 nozzle. I'm not going to be reducing the gel coat. We have gloves. We have a scale because I don't have the right tainers. And um, we have filters for the gel coat. Well, I'm going to spray 8 ounces of gel coat. It'll be 8 ounces of maple syrup. I'm taking gel coat. <laughs> and a 1.5% and of the MEK. Oh, that's nice. So we're going to go right underneath the 5. Make sure you put the top back on. And we're just going to have acetone stand by. We're going to get out any water that's in the system first. You get any box. Make sure you clean the gel coat off. Make sure you clean the gel coat off. Eight clearly wasn't enough. We're going to need a lot more. We're going to try 16. Overall, I'm really happy how this came out. It came out better than I expected. I still have to polish the ends and stuff, buff wet sand and, um, and buff it out. Get a little bit of a shine out of it, but um, overall it came out really good. And I know the color is different. It's not white. Well, they didn't have white. This is the only color they had. Um, so either way, the cooler is gonna sit on top of this. So you're really not gonna see it. And eventually I might just switch it out to a white piece of starboard, um, but I'm not really worried about that. Uh, since the cooler is gonna go on top of it, you're not gonna see it more about function than anything else. So this works out pretty good and I'm pretty happy with it.
Thank you.